My name is Zipporah Cars, and I am a former soloist with the New York City Ballet, and I'm a repetiteur for the George Balanchine Trust. I am here to stage Balanchine's ballet, Allegro Brillant, for Ballet Tucson. So George Balanchine has been said to be the greatest choreographer of the 20th century. He came from Russia, he came to America, and he started the school. He said, but first to school when he came to America, because there was really no there was no official company. The Ballet Russe would come through and do performances, but we had no ballet companies. So he started a school and he wanted to train the dancers in the style in which he wanted to train them so they could move in the way that he wanted them to move. And what's specific about Balanchine, he really fell in love with America. He fell in love with New Yorkers and their uninhibitedness and their energy and their um, the way that they would go about their days and just the, the freedom, the freedom in America. And he put that in his dances. He loved the quick pace of the New Yorkers. And so his, his ballets can be very fast and they're not telling a story. He really wants pure movement to music. There can be a story here and there within that, but it's really just the body moving to the music in a trained way where it can go that fast and it can be that expressive. And so Balanchine was not only a great teacher, he was a great choreographer and he was, everything was about the music. Everything was about the composer and about the music coming through. And as I said, he's known to be one of the greatest choreographers of the 20th century and his ballets are masterpieces and they hold up through time. The dancers that dance it today that I'm teaching, when I danced it 30 years ago, I think we're all moved. In the, in the deepest part of ourselves. And it's why we love to dance, the why we want to express ourselves, what makes us feel that this is the way we want to express our, ourselves in this life. And we are so honored to be able to dance Balanchine. Mm -hmm. Balanchine has said that everything he knew about classical ballet, he did in Allegro Briant in about 15 minutes. The ballet is actually about 18 minutes but I think in his day it was a little when he was alive it was a little faster than we're playing it now but it's everything he knew about classical ballet in 15 minutes basically and it's uh, to music by Tchaikovsky and it starts with a bang and it ends with a bang and it's full of incredible energy and um, just exuberance and joy of dance and everyone dances as in Balanchine Ballets, the corps de ballet, the principals, everyone is dancing and it's just a glorious ballet. And Ballet Tucson is doing a beautiful job with the Legro I, I think I think that something that the audience can get out of it is just the sheer joy of movement, covering space and um, taking chances and just passion and giving your heart and moving to the music. Tchaikovsky's music, I always found it an incredible experience to dance to Tchaikovsky. The music is just so passionate and you well up with all of this energy and Balanchine's steps are just perfect for that music and you just get to just be as big and expressive as you can. And the other thing is we're not in a in a tutu like many classical ballets are. You're, we're in flowing dresses and that just adds to the quality and the freedom of the movement. So I would say to an audience member, just, just sit back and relax and, and enjoy and enjoy.